Hello from beautiful Edinburgh. My name is Jenny. Welcome to The Bear and the Fox. I'm back today after a bit of a break with another picture book roundup. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, you may have been wondering why there have not been any new book videos over the summer and you may also be wondering what's happened to all the books that used to be behind me in my previous videos. Well, we actually moved house over the summer and it's taken us a little bit longer than anticipated to get everything unpacked and sorted and this is actually what our books look like at the moment. So that's why I've not been able to make any new videos over the summer because I've not had access to my books. But as some of you may know, I've been working for the Edinburgh International Book Festival since May and the festival took place during August. In fact, it's just finished. So we hung out there quite a lot, obviously while I was working, but I only work part time. So on my days off, I would take my kids there and we met lots of great authors and went to some fabulous events and just had a really good time. And not that we ever need an excuse to buy new books, but we kind of took the festival and the fact that the authors were there doing signings of their books as an excuse to buy some more new books. So what I wanted to do was share with you our favorite books that we bought at the book festival this summer because they are not in a giant massive pile. They are right here next to me on the sofa. And the very first book I have to share with you is Oi Duck Build Platypus by Kez Gray and Jim Field. Now, this doesn't actually hit the shops until September the 6th, I think it is, but there were a few early release copies on sale at the festival because Jim Field was appearing in the programme and we got a chance to meet him. We went to his event and then we met him afterwards and he signed our books and Oscar had a wee chat with him. Oscar is my my seven-year-old and you would have thought he was meeting a celebrity or a film star and I'm just so pleased that he sees authors and illustrators as his heroes. So for those of you who don't know the Oi series, there's actually a couple out already. There's Oi Frog, Oi Dog and Oi Cat and in this book it's about trying to find things that rhyme with animals that have um, names that don't really rhyme with anything so do check out this book it is just as brilliant as the previous books in the series another author we went to see was Ross Collins and his hilarious book what does an ant eater eat and this features an anteater who isn't quite sure what he should be eating and he goes around and he asks all these different animals and eventually he ends up at an anthill and I'm not gonna give away what happens because um, there's a little bit of a surprise ending and we got to meet Ross as well and have our book signed afterwards and the boys really loved that. The next book wasn't actually part of the program. It's by Lynn Rickards and she was in the program. She was talking about her other book, Rowan the Red Squirrel. My boys sadly were at school at nursery that day because I was working and schools were back at that point. But I had a chance to meet Lynn we kind of, uh, we follow each other on Twitter and we have a little bit of a chat every now and then. And um, when I heard she was coming to talk at the festival, she said, do come and say hello. And she knew that my older boy, Oscar, really loves pink. And she brought me this other book that she had written in the past about a penguin who wakes up one morning and he's turned pink. And it's all about and being different and how it's okay to be different and Lynn thank you so much it was a pleasure to meet you and Oscar absolutely adores the pink penguin book thank you so much it was really kind of you um I can only draw worms by Will Mabbit he's another author that we met in the signing tent and I'll just give you a quick flick through it because it's just fabulous inside it's all in Sorry, it's all in neon pink and neon yellow. And it's basically a counting book about worms. And yes, as the title says, I can only draw worms. The only thing you will find in this book is worms, but it's really funny. And just a slightly different take on a counting book. Next up, we have Cockadoodle Poo, 
which features lots of farmyard animals and lots of poo and a poo filled plot to stop a thieving fox. And I bought this for my younger boy who turns four in November as a birthday present because at that age, kids love anything to do with poo. And it's by Steve Smallman who kindly signed it for him as well. So thank you, Steve. Crocodile is a lovely wee book by Lucy Volpin, who I also had the pleasure of meeting. It is about an artistic crocodile who gets the children that are reading the book to join him helping to make his masterpiece by tilting, turning, shaking the book, blowing on it. We've got a couple of similar join-in books and my little one loves these, so he's really been enjoying this one too. Next up we have Steve, Terror of the Seas by Megan Brewis, another author that we got to meet and who signed our book. It's about a wee fish that everyone is afraid of, um, small fish, big fish, even humans, and he doesn't quite understand why because he's not very big and his teeth aren't very sharp and there is a twist at the end which I won't give away because when you read this book for the first time it's brilliant if you didn't know what the twist was and you will love this and any kids who love fishies will love this. Then we have The Grotlin by Benji Davies. Now we've got actually quite a few books by him already. He's one of our favorite illustrators. We didn't have this one so the fact that he was appearing at the festival we used as an excuse to finally buy it. It looks at first appearance it looks a bit dark and scary but it is actually a book about freedom and the power of imagination and it's really beautiful and also the way he signed it was really beautiful too. I just wanted to share it with you. So there it is. He's uh, dedicated it to Oscar, my older boy, and it just looks like it's part of the illustration. I think it's um, one of the most beautiful book dedications that we've collected so far. So thank you very much to Benji. And then the last couple of books are authors that we didn't get to meet but that were appearing in the festival programme and I kind of like the, the sound and the look of and I picked these up in the bookshop at the festival. So the slightly glittery cover is The Station Mouse and I have to admit I picked this up entirely because of the cute cover but then when I had a flick through it the story is really cute as well. It's about a wee mouse who works in a station and he's got to follow the rules which are um, don't be seen, don't go out during the day, don't approach any um, humans in the station and then he faces the dilemma one day of breaking the rules to reunite a wee boy with his lost blanket and it's about what happens next and it's just so lovely i really recommend this it's really sweet next up we have what makes me a me by ben folks and david Tazziman. and this book is all about what makes us unique and thinking about what makes us unique and i thought this would be a great book to read with the boys and use as a bit of a talking point as well next we have cake by sue hendra and paul linnett they are the creators of Super Tato and they've obviously moved on from potatoes and vegetables to cake. This book is about a cake who gets invited to a birthday party. But what happens at birthday parties? Hmm, yes, people like to eat birthday cake. So will cake make it out alive? I'm not going to give it away, but this book is hilarious and it made my boys laugh out loud and I'm sure your kids would enjoy it. And last but not least, we have Juniper Jupiter by Lizzie Stewart. And this book is about a little girl who is a real life superhero, but she's a little bit lonely because she doesn't have a sidekick. So she holds some interviews to try and find a sidekick. And eventually she does find one and it's a lot closer to home than she had expected. It's a really beautiful story about friendship. And I also love the fact it's got a strong female protagonist. I think it's really important that we read our boys books, not just about boys, but about girls too. So if you're looking for a book to read to your boys or your girls with a strong female protagonist then do check out Juniper Jupiter um, because it's it's great 
And that's all we've got time for today. I do hope you enjoyed the little whistle stop tour through our book festival favourites from this year. And I also hope that normal service will resume shortly on the blog and the video channel once we get our book situation sorted. We do have all our books unpacked now, but we still don't have any bookshelves. So watch this space. I will also put a list of all the books and the authors that I showed you today over on my blog. I will pop a link in the notes below. And if you enjoyed this episode, please do like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Happy reading. Bye.